What's up, guys? All right, so there was a post about Itero scam bodies missing and this and that. So uh, here's a workflow that I figured out. Um, seems to work pretty good. So when I go to import my cases, I just import it regular. I don't do a create model um, since I'm going to change in the order from anyways. Uh, makes it easier for me. Uh, so once after I do the import, I got the case here. Um, and we'll go ahead and set it up so that it's easy to uh, work just pretty much like a trios case or anybody else that gives you the right scans to do a uh, inner oral um, implant abutment, custom screw tank crown, or however you see fit to do it. So let's see, get this opened up here. Kind of slow for a Wednesday. Anything. All right, so we got our crown. Set up the needed uh, implant that you need. Go ahead, select digital impression. Give it the gingival scan right here. Add a model and go ahead and get this case rolling here. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is uh, how I do the workflow for uh, implant cases that I get on iTero. So once it's all set up, you're gonna go ahead and highlight the case, press F4. Instead of right click advanced explorer, simply press F4. You come here, go to scans, it's lower, and you can see what I've done here. It used to just be a raw preparation scan. So what I do is I copy this, and I have a copy. And what I'll do is I will rename this to actually say abutment alignment scan, just as so, one word. And uh, that will actually create the abutment alignment scan. And you will have uh, the preparation scan, which is supposed to be your gingival scan. Um, but since iTero sucks and is not up to par in doing so, like Trios, uh, we have to manually manipulate the files uh, unless the doctor um, does the emergence profile scan as a pre-op scan. And then you can actually uh, manipulate some files, just simply move them around and you got a nice emergence scan. Uh, otherwise, you're stuck doing this um, crappy stuff. So we got the case here, we're gonna go ahead don't need to trim any of the lines here. It's going to be fine. Same here on the lower. I'm not even going to mess with trying to get this trimmed up. This little overhang probably would get rid of that just for a good measure. Here, we'll just quickly uh, zap this. I'm not working in this area, so if I touch the scan, it doesn't hurt. Now I'm going to come here and we're going to come here 2018 and above you're going to have this extraction tool. So I'm going to come here and uh, draw this line as we need it. And let's see if it does it the right way. It does. We can come here, refine it, bring it all the way down, get rid of as much as possible make it look good or try to make it look good whatever you choose um, yeah get a little bit more down here just like that go ahead and extract it and then we'll come back here and we'll use the smooth tool and we'll go ahead and we'll smooth this down a little bit real fast Nothing crazy, just to get it out of the way and expose the beautiful socket iTero loves to create us. Or if your dentist doesn't do it the right way, yeah, you're going to have to deal with it. So we got that out of the way. Now I'm going to go to the next scan. It's crucial that you select the gingival feature right underneath a uh, neighborhood scan. If you do not, when you extract the scan body, kiss it bye-bye, and you're not gonna be able to align anything. So 
that is crucial because what that's going to do is it's going to turn this, it's going to treat this raw preparation scan as the prep, the gingival scan. So, which is good. And as soon as this loads up here, Itero is known for being super laggy on aligning these stuff. And it actually kind of falls on what implant kit you have. Some are fast, some are slow. So let's go ahead and just be patient. Any day now. All right, there we go. So now we got this alignment scan here. And now I'll go ahead and simply do an alignment. This thing is super slow today. Of course you failed. Got to clear. This was a previously started case, so there is some data it's probably going off of. Um, and this should line up pretty good right here. And then we'll go and uh, go on to our regular case and finish it just like how we normally do. Come back here. That scan body's gone. It's out of the way. I'm not going to mess with the insertion path. No need to. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and Finish this case as needed. And uh, that's gonna be it. So just wanna show you guys a quick way to uh, that I do screw tank crowns and custom abutments via uh, iTero. And uh, from here on out, it should be easy. Just finish your crown and you know pick the right tie base and off you go. So that's how I do it and uh, hopefully It'll work out for you guys the way you need it, and that's it.